Welcome back to Spell Tutorial Services. Today we're going to continue with a fractional, um, a fractional equation word problem, and the problem is stated above. Uh, Jacob walked an uphill trail at three kilometers per hour and returned at four kilometers per hour. The entire trip took five hours and ten minutes, including a half-hour rest break. And they want to know how long was the trail. So this here is a uh, distance equals rate times time problem as well as a fractional equation problem. So let's start with with our chart. So we want to know in our chart we need to know the departure or depart and we want to know the return. So that's how we're going to split everything up. Now we're going to set up our column headings. We need to know the rate at which he left and returned as well as the time it took we'll be multiplying and we know that those two things will be set equal to d or the distance so now we look back at our word problem and we're going to fill in the uh, given information All right, we're told that he uh, when he departed he departed at a rate of three kilometers per hour i'm just going to put a three here let me also put the rates above this. So we know this is kilometers per hour. This here is also kilometers per hour. We don't know the time, so we're going to leave that blank for now as well, and the distance. We know that he returned, and again, his return rate was at 4 kilometers per, per hour. So we're going to take that departure time, and we're going to put that as x, and we have to take into account that the entire trip took five hours and ten minutes but he took a thirty minute rest break so in doing that we know that the entire trip going and coming that actually was four hours and forty minutes i took the five hours and ten minutes and subtracted thirty minutes to get this four hours and uh... forty minutes here we see that in time everything is in kilometers per hour so I need to make sure that this time is, is in hours completely. So first, we need to convert that 40 minutes into hours. So to do that, we have 40 minutes, and I'm going to multiply that by some, some conversion factor. I know I need minutes in my denominator because when I multiply, I want to cross-cancel first. So here I know that 60 minutes is the same thing as one, as one hour. So when I cross cancel the minutes go away and I'm left with 40 over 60 hours which can be reduced to 4 6 which again can be reduced to 2 thirds. So we know that the uh, travel time or the entire time is 4 and 2 thirds hours. So when knowing that if it took him uh, X hours to go up it's going to take him four and two-thirds hours minus x hours to come back. Now to get our expressions for distance we just multiply three times x gives me three x and then four times this quantity four, two th um, four and two-thirds minus x. So these are our two expressions for the distance and we know that at the end these two expressions should be the same because the distance doesn't change whether he's gone uphill or downhill he still went to the same location and uh, returned so let's set those two equal to each other down here 3x is equal to 4 times 4 and 2 thirds minus x this 4 and 2 thirds I need, to, I need to change that into an improper fraction so 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 plus that 2 is 14 so here I have 14 thirds minus x. All oh, that's going to be multiplied by 4 and set equal to 3x. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 4 to both my terms here. So 3x is equal to 4 times 14 over 3. I'm not multiplying the 4 um, by the 14 yet because I'm going to end up having to divide later. So I'm just going to keep it separated so it may be easier to factor as I continue with the problem. And then I multiply 4 times negative x to give me a negative 4x. Now I see that I have my, uh, I have a fraction here with a denominator of 3. 
I want to get rid of that 3 so I find my LCD and in this case my LCD is 3 so I'm going to multiply this entire equation by 3 on the left side and the right side so 3 times 3x gives me 9x and then 3 times this first fraction these 3's cancel so that's going to leave me with 4 times 14 I'm going to put that in parentheses to keep that separate from the rest of this problem minus 3 times a negative 4x gives me a negative 12x alright now at this point I'm going to go ahead and collect my x's so I'm going to add 12 12x to both sides. In doing so, 12x plus 9x gives me 21x equals 4 times 14. And we see the negative and positive 12x go away. I need to get the x by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 21. In doing that, the x on the left cancels down to 1, leaving an x. And here I notice that 14 and 21, they both share a factor of 7. So I can divide both by 7. So 14 divided by 7 is 2, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. So here I'm left with 4 times 2 over 3, or 8 thirds. All right, I'm not finished with the problem because I just found what x is, and they want to know how long was the trail. They want to know the distance. So here I see that the distance is 3x. So all I'm going to do is substitute in the 8 thirds for the x. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 8 thirds. I see these 3's cancel and I'm left with just a distance of with just a distance of x of I'm sorry, a distance of 8. So I believe the distance to be 8 for my uh, as my answer, but I need to be sure. So to be sure I'm going to see if the other side of the equation, or my second expression, if that also gives me 8. So I'm going to rewrite that here as part of my check. 4 times, well we said um, instead of using 4 and 2 thirds, I'm going to use the improper fraction which we found to be 14 thirds. Then I'm going to subtract off the 8 thirds that we found x to be. So that's just substituted in. I'm going to work inside my parentheses first. I have common denominators, so I can subtract my numerators. 14 minus 8 is 6, leaving me with a denominator of 3. Again, I can simplify the 6 thirds. That simplifies down to 2. And here I see that 4 times 2 is 8. So I feel confident that my answer is correct, that the trail that uh, Jacob was on was 8 kilometers. All right, that sums it up for this video from Speller Tutorial Services. Please friend us on Facebook and also follow us or subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching.